Okay, this is a quick little overview on um, how to um, um, set up the EMP points in the uh, Vitronics M650. First thing you're going to want to do is launch your web browser, Firefox, Google Chrome, etc. Uh, make sure the IP address of your laptop is in um, the same network neighborhood as the IP address of the machine. Uh, I typically do that by going through the icon here at the bottom of the uh, taskbar go into my uh, network connection and verify that my local area network connection properties, TCP IP version 4 properties so my laptop is set for 192.168.0.100 and the IP address of the meter itself from the factory is 192.168.0.171 and this is what I should see when I connect. Jump right into the settings screens, you'll notice this is where I can go in and set up CTPT ratios. I can go in and set up the serial port, network IP address, click on the protocol option. I have two options, Modbus or DMP. And no matter which one I select, I also have the ability to select optimal resolution, which is A to D counts like minus 32767 to plus 32768. Or I can select primary units that would look very similar to a Schweitzer relay using a fast messaging. In your example, I think you're choosing optimal resolution uh, as most SCADA systems for optimal resolution than uh, floating point decimal type applications. Um, the DNP allows us to select three different sessions. I have a serial port. If I have uh, two TCP connections, uh, if I'm only going to use one TCP connection, I would suggest disabling the third TCP connection. Um, whichever one you're selecting, here's the points list that's available. Notice on my particular meter, I have all of these values clicked for a class zero response. So this is what the values are going to report to the RTU when the RTU does an integrity pull. I can go back in and if I select the advanced tab, the advanced tab allows me to go in and set dead bands. If I want to uh, um, uh, assign change events and for the particular application on counters, the drop down menu here, the factory de default is 32 bit without flag for your particular application. I think you say you want to go to a, a 16 bit counter. So we make the change there. Click on apply. It's going to ask you to reset and click on reset. Within a couple of seconds, the meter will go through a reboot process. It should come back online and the changes should have taken effect. Hopefully, that's what you're looking for. If not, don't hesitate to call or uh, email and uh, we'll see what we can do. We can always do a live go to meeting session as well.